But when we practice spirituality, which is our real nature, then we awaken within us that happiness that we're looking for. It's right there. Another story. A man, he hears about a great treasure somewhere in the world. And he thinks, oh, I'm going to find that treasure. I'm going to use my whole life to get that treasure. When I do, I'll be happy. So he leaves his home and he travels throughout the world, following whatever indications he has to find that treasure. And somehow or other, he's unsuccessful and he dies. So they take his body, they bring it back to his home, they dig a grave in his backyard, and guess what? There's the treasure in his backyard. So that's our life. We're looking for happiness, we're looking for success, we're looking for pleasure out there. But really, it's within our own heart. And that Krishna consciousness movement is, is the means for awakening that. And how do we do that? To glorify God. And the simple glorification of, the, of God, as explained in the religious scriptures of India, is to chant the Lord's name. It's three names, 16 words, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This is not simply a chant or some nice, uh, just like we had our singers who were doing a somewhat of a rock and roll expression of the chanting. That was very nice. But actually, these names are names of God. And when we chant the holy name of the Lord, God is situated already in our heart. He's there. And so we're actually awakening our relationship with God within our own heart through the sound of God's name. It's actually a very scientific and very devotional process. And it's available for everyone. It's not dependent on age. It's not dependent on the educational abilities, just like we here we are in Boston, one of the bastions of academia throughout the enti entire world. So many colleges, so many students, so many universities, so many prestigious achievements on the academic level here. But anyone can chat. There's no qualifications, there's no disqualifications. The only, the only qualification is your enthusiasm. And if you chant the holy names of the Lord and dedicate your time and energy to understanding your relationship with the Lord, a big part of our movement is to teach these principles through written words. We have a Right to my left here, to your right, is a book table called Transcendental Books. Our spiritual master, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada, spent practically his whole time translating the religious scriptures of India into English. And of course, from English it got translated into many other languages. So we have over a hundred different translations of various scriptures that teach who is God, what is our relationship with God, and how to function within that relationship and realize God. What is this world? How does it work? Why am I suffering? Why do I have to die? Why do I have to get old? Why do I have to get diseased? Why don't things work out according to my plan? That's an intelligent person asks these questions. Not like, where's the food? Where's, where is a job? Where is sex life? Where is this? Where is that? These are not intelligent questions. The intelligent question is, who am I? Where am I going? Why am I suffering? What is this world? What is death? Who is God? That's an intelligent question. And when you start asking those questions, then God, within your heart, starts to give you the answers in different ways. And now the answers to those questions are the source of solving all problems. There's really only one problem, and that is we forgot our relationship with God. And as we develop that relationship, then there's no more problems. Problems are like 
they're like shadows. When you bring in the sun, the shadows disappear. When you bring in light, darkness goes. When you bring in God, all, all difficulties leave your life. So this is what this Krishna consciousness movement is about. It's about awakening God within our own heart, within our own life. So please take this movement very seriously. Chant the holy names of the Lord. There's so many devotees here. If you're new here, if you're just getting familiar with our movement, come to the book table. See, checks out some of these books. There's books on all aspects of philosophy and lifestyle, not just spirituality, but how spirituality can connect to various ways within our life. So everything is here. This movement is inspired by the Lord himself. It's not created by man. It's divine. It's, co it's coming from God to give people a chance to practice a religion that is, what we say, easy. It's easy. In this age, we need something easy, right? We want everything easy, right? fast. So here's an easy way, chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> Can't get any easier than that. Just chant the holy names of the Lord. And if you feel hungry, take some nice vegetarian food. Read some nice philosophical books about God and your relationship with God. And associate with, with God-minded people. And through that process, you can find whatever you're looking for. It works. It's guaranteed. Thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Sri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai. Shishi Jagannath Rathiyatra Ki Jai. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So next we have Sanjaya Prabhu.